So, well, hi. Hi. I would like to invite you to uh, an experience. You know, like a cruising ship, a holiday, where you will uh, enjoy a lot of nice food, nice entertainment, good wine, dancing perhaps. Does that sound right? That like, sounds great. Great. So oh, that's perfect. I will just fill in some information on the boarding pass so you're allowed to get on the boat, right? Uh, so we have uh, your name first. Your name is? Neil. Neil. Yeah. Neil. And uh, Neil, uh, you can also select a cabin number for this oh, journey. So which, which number do you want to have? Uh, 68. 68. 68 there. Now, Neil, I need to tell you that number 68 is in second class. So I will mark up second class here for you. Uh, well, that's not bad. You know, we have first class. First class is obviously very luxury. Uh, but second class is good. Uh, but I need to tell you that third class, yeah, well, most passengers on Titanic, they died when they traveling in third class so but you're invited now to uh, white star lines titanic and i'm pretty sure that you will do well because you're still in second class that's great uh, now when you board the ship you will also get a key to the cabin and uh, this is an authentic key from titanic uh, and we will come back to that in just a moment uh, but before you know, there was a lot of entertainment, a lot of restaurants, and I happens to have the, the breakfast menu from, um, uh, from Titanic Second Class here. Uh, and this is from April the 14th. And uh, we all know that Titanic went down the 15th, so you have plenty of time to enjoy <laughs> this, this breakfast. Uh, you see, there are a lot of interesting dishes here. We'll, um, in a moment, you will make a little selection, but I will do a prediction first uh, and I'm, I'm known to know the future so uh, overall I have a bad feeling about this trip but the breakfast will be great I'm pretty sure and I, I think we will go for uh... yeah no I, I will X that out I changed my mind I think that actually it will be um... yeah that is pretty much what I think it will be. So now, you will make a selection here. You see, you can, you can have perhaps fresh fish. There is uh, American dry hash uh, and uh, graham rolls. Yeah, we don't know really. But you will take uh, one of the uh, uh, menus and you can, and you can draw, if I hold the menu here, you can draw a small circle, like the size of your fingernail perhaps, mm -hmm. underneath somewhere here. Got one there? Yes. That's brilliant. Now, of course, we are curious uh, what you have selected. As I said, there are so many interesting dishes here. Uh, and you have selected... Oh, it's not really a, a perfect circle, but <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's good. It's like a nine. What would you say it is? Uh, looks like it's on the ham. Oh, it's on the grilled ham. Yes. It's not the grilled sausage. No. No, but, but it's very close. To, yes. Yeah. But it's, it is the ham, yeah. Well, um, no, I, I selected the grill <laughs> sausage at first, and then I axed that out and wrote ham. So I'm pretty much was right on. And that was how it was. The waitress and the bartenders on Titanic, they were really skilled. You know, it's like the movie when you are uh, approaching a bartender and say, don't tell me, I know exactly what I will give you. And that was what happened pretty much. The, the owner of this, uh, the key, went down to have the breakfast and then had the uh, dinner and supper at night. And uh, tonight he had perhaps a few too much drink inside the vest because when he was rumbling down to his cabin, he accidentally dropped the key outside the cabin and, and the door back locked. So he couldn't get out when Titanic started to sink. And you can imagine his pain and fear and agony inside that cabin when he was screaming. And the key outside, it really wanted to turn. And all those emotions merged into the key. And it was on the floor trying to turn because that was the only purpose of the key, to turn, to turn, and save that poor man inside of the cabin. But he couldn't. But he wanted to turn. He wanted to turn. But unfortunately, he was on the other side of the cabin. 
and the man followed Titanic down 4,000 meters into the black hole water, never to be seen again. And the only memory of him is this key with his name, name Neo and the cavity number 68 <laughs> engraved into the crown. If you take a finger and touch there, you can see it's really engraved. <laughs> Amazing.